day 46, we decided to do legs today, and it was tough. And uh, I think, could, could I say you were having a tough time with legs today? I was having a tough time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but something happened during the workout that is key that I really wanted to communicate to you guys uh, this morning or this evening whenever you're watching this is that Christina made a statement that she was pretty much whipped and didn't have much left for round three. And I reminded her, and I remind myself this, this isn't just for her, it's for everybody. When things are hard and you're totally whipped and worn out, that's when you're gonna make the most progress. And round three, that's where everything separates from the winners to the losers. Round one and two are just as important, but that's simply just prep for round three which is where all the magic happens. Round three is vital. I really, really need you to press through even when you're tired and sore and the whole thing because round three is where you're gonna make all the difference, I can assure you of that. Yeah, I just, um, it, I feel like in every area of your life you can really apply that, like yeah. even in marriage. When you're in marriage and you're like, man, he's just not changing, she's just <laughs> not listening. He doesn't hear me. I'm trying my best. I'm doing what I know how to do. Yeah. I'm trying to listen better. I'm trying to, you know, hear him better. I'm trying to be a good wife. I'm trying not to nag. Yeah. All of these things that you say you're trying, you're trying, you're trying, and you feel like giving up. Don't. It's that last, <laughs> <laughs> that last leg. Like he's getting ready to hear you. She's yeah. getting ready to hear you. And you have to put in the work and not yep. be so impatient with the timing yep. of all the things. So I don't know, I feel that like there were times where we were just like misfiring like in yeah. our relationship. I would say something and he would say something and the funny thing was that we really were complaining to each other about the very same yep. things. Like we both needed the same things. We both needed to feel heard. Yep. We both needed to feel loved and honored and respected. But we kept like misfiring communication yep. and it wasn't until we like finally were patient enough to sit down and really hear what the other person was saying and to swallow yep. our pride which is the same thing in working out right we really yep. have to swallow our pride stop listening to the voice inside that says you're not good enough you're not going to make it you can't complete this workout right, right? same in marriage right. you're not gonna make it he's never gonna listen to you those voices are killers in our marriage and yep. our relationships and our businesses I'm not gonna make it I'm never gonna be able to be an entrepreneur on my own <laughs> I'm not gonna make enough money nobody's right. gonna listen that voice in your head is garbage yep that voice in your head is garbage you are called to greatness this is what it takes that last yep round is what it takes to be part of the great to be yep. the great so i don't care what you're doing whether you're working out whether you're in your marriage and you're trying to figure it out whether you've got a business and you're still frustrated and it's not looking the way you want it to look i don't care if you're wherever you are whatever your children they're not listening to you and you're frustrated and overwhelmed keep pushing through keep trying you're on the last round. It's gonna be hard, but it's gonna break through. You're gonna have a breakthrough. So keep going. Yep. I really believe they will have a breakthrough if, this is a big if, they change the mindset and they change the words. Yep. Like just today, somebody said something on their post on Facebook, on social media that hopefully this time it works. You can't say hopefully this time it works. This it's time going it's gonna to work. work. This time is different. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm going to do it. Remove hopefully and I hope so and maybe. Remove that from your mindset and your vocabulary totally because <laughs> if it's maybe or I, I can or I won't, I can promise you, you won't. I can assure you of that, it won't happen. Yep. So you guys got this. Enjoy the shorter workout today. And uh, why do I keep saying shoulders? <laughs> Probably because my shoulders are working out right now. <laughs> He's holding about to the fall camera. off with this 10 pound camera. So have a good night and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.